So we're asking people what Thanksgiving means to them and go. Um, Thanksgiving to me, I mean, it's always been like a good uh, opportunity for me to see my family and eat really good food. But like fundamentally, I disagree with it in okay. general because I think that it is a holiday based on slavery and genocide. All right, so we're interviewing people about Thanksgiving and what it means to them. So let's go around and just kind of fill in. What does Thanksgiving really mean to you? Sure. You're the most talkative. <laughs> um, go. Can we go? You go first. Okay. You go first. Um, just what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Being appreciative for what you have when okay. others don't and helping others, I think that's a lot. And like somebody being kind enough to extend you opportunities to like work and live on their land and then yeah. you just kill them. So I don't understand like, I guess the concept or like how that even happened. But like, I mean, it's cool to be grateful, but you should do that every day anyway. And like you should eat dinner. For sure. You should eat dinner with your family as much as you can anyway. Like, I don't know why there has to be a holiday about pilgrims because like, I think that anybody that's actually educated on the topic would realize that they were just colonists. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of backwards how, you know, it's about gratitude, coming together with your family, but it's based on, like you said, Do genocide. Yeah. Thanksgiving, I feel like it's just being around people. It doesn't have to be family, just people that you love. Okay. People so it's that about you being, get along with. That, yeah, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's about being grateful, right? Yeah. It's about celebrating life and being together, family, that kind of thing, right? We all agree it's about celebrating life. It's like a celebration of life. Thanksgiving coming together, you know, and being in, t in full gratitude. Um, now, when I think of Thanksgiving, there's someone that comes to mind that every year you can bet that thanks Thanksgiving is going to be a horrible time for them, right? So they're, they're usually taken away from their families so that they can't see their families. Um, they're exploited in many other ways. Can you think of who I might be thinking of? Anyone? Prisoner. Prisoners? No. Orphans? Orphans? No. I was going to say foster orphans. Yeah. Foster children? Yeah. No. No? Family? Anybody? Yeah. No. Immigrants? Like somebody, like literally the natives invited them into their home and they were like, here, this is how you grow things here. These are our crops. This is like how we live. And then the Europeans were just like, okay, cool. And then slaughtered them and then took their land and then made a holiday about it. No. All right. So I'll be a little more specific. So. So in celebration of Thanksgiving, 46 million are slaughtered every year Turkey. so that we can celebrate. There you go. Oh they're, my see, they're right on your table and you never even thought of them, right? Isn't that strange? We went all around the world for foster children and homeless people and prisoners, but we didn't think about the animal that's on our table. So going back to what you were saying about, you know, the, uh, the hypocrisy of Thanksgiving, you know, when we talk about turkeys. So we celebrate Thanksgiving. It's about, it's a celebration of life, right? Yeah. It's coming together, love, life, but we have a dead animal on our table, Yeah. right? It, it, that's kind of counterintuitive too. Yeah, so absolutely. So every yeah, I'm year, vegan. I don't agree right? with the turkey thing. 300 million are slaughtered per year, um, you know, in America alone, but 46 million simply for Thanksgiving. So what do you guys think about that number? That's Did you know it was that high? high? That's a, I didn't know that's that's a pretty high, high number. It's, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna eat it, but it's a lot of foods wasted on Thanksgiving. It is. I don't eat turkey. You don't Thanksgiving. eat turkey? I you could do like a vegan turkey or something. You could, yeah, right? There's lots of options today. 2019, there's so many options. We have a, there's a vegan or a plant-based alternative to everything. But the main point is, we all started off by expressing what Thanksgiving meant to us. And it was all, you know, across the board, it was pretty much about gratitude, love, celebrating life. Isn't it kind of strange how we come together to celebrate life by taking life rather than giving yeah. life to an animal, right? Yeah, I feel like a horrible person. Well, it's not a I guilt trip. It's not a guilt trip, but yeah, it's something we don't think about, yeah. you know? I mean, nobody said turkey had to be the one that we eat. I don't know why they do what we eat. <laughs> like change it up, have steak one year, have chicken one year. It doesn't make any sense to to go to the table and be so grateful for an animal that was mass produced and slaughtered when the entire point of the Native American culture was that they would go out and hunt only what they needed and like billions of turkeys die every year. 70% of animal agriculture is like 
chickens and turkeys and other birds. They have no regulations for how they're treated. And so they just grow a bunch of them just to slaughter them like two months after they're born to be put on the table. Nobody even likes Thanksgiving turkey. Like there's memes about it. They're like replace turkey with ham. And it's like, no dude, just don't, just don't eat an animal for Thanksgiving. I mean, why would you replace it with an animal that costs more in general to, to raise and has like more intelligence and like it just doesn't make any sense right that's the purpose of animals for was us what? To, survive, to supply us food okay so do you believe that we need to eat animal products in order to be healthy to get all of our nutrients uh, i don't believe so no and always weird things are happening. Like I remember 2016 Thanksgiving, the Dakota yeah. Access Pipeline was happening. And I just thought that that was like a complete good representation of America. I mean, it's not good, but it accurately represents America because it's Thanksgiving and we're in Dakota stealing land from people on a sovereign union, stealing their land to build a pipeline that's already burst twice. So then, so then we don't need it for survival or? You can live off of other animal protein. You can live off plant-based protein. Okay. But if you take away a plant, a plant's life would die. A pl uh, yeah, so that is a concern. So this is something that I never thought about before I went vegan myself. And that is, and I know you're being facetious a bit, but let's take that, you know, seriously. Plant life, there, there are less plants that have to die if you ate a wholly plant-based diet. Because in order to eat the flesh of an animal, you have to feed them plants for a number of years. And let's take, for instance, like a cow or a pig. They eat much more plant matter than we do, right? So it takes about 18 pounds of plant material to generate one pound of animal flesh. So you're actually saving a lot of plants' lives if you don't eat animals. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Did I confuse anybody? No. A little bit, yeah. a little but bit. I get where you're coming from. So. Yeah, there's 70 billion land animals that we bring into existence each year for slaughter, 70 billion. There's only seven and a half billion of us, right? So we have to feed all 70 billion animals plants, right? That's what they all eat, cows, chickens, pigs, right? They're all herbivores. So we have to feed them plants for a number of years and then we kill them and eat their flesh. So if we just ate the plants, you wouldn't have to feed 70 billion land animals each year. Does that, does that make better sense? Yeah. So what do you think about that? It's something that needs to be thought about. Right on, okay. You got something to say, I, I can see it. No? Mm -mm. I just didn't know, I'm mind blown. Mind blown? Yeah, yeah what, when you really, what do you mind when blown you really about? think about it, you might yeah. Go. yeah. So how do you think we, are you guys against animal cruelty? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I cry if I, see a dead animal down the road so right it's funny how we're we live in a, a country of animal lovers right we're all against animal cruelty but then we pay for someone else to be cruel to animals on our behalf right so the only reason that exists is because of supply and demand right so if we didn't demand it they wouldn't supply it so as animal lovers our actions aren't aligned with our beliefs, right? We call ourselves animal lovers, but we pay others to harm animals on our behalf. So do you, do you think if there was any way that we could change the course in the direction that we're going with animal agriculture, can you think of any way that we could end that? It would need a big movement. Yeah. to awareness my what you're doing okay yeah right because on. you can't change on an individual level yeah on, what could yeah. you do not by the me i mean there you go not, yeah not so if you're not demanding it they won't supply it right so that's the answer right there you know you guys can check out vegan22.com it's i'm not you know it's not related to me it's a, a free website that you can go on you can sign up through facebook it's vegan22.com and you'll get a team of nutritionists that would help you make the transition or at least try it for 22 days. You know, it takes 21 days to make a new habit. So we give you one extra day and you'll get, like I said, a team of nutritionists. They'll give you a full grocery list. They'll give you recipes that coincide with the grocery list to make sure that all your macro and micronutrients are met. And you know, you don't do it the wrong way. A lot of people try to go vegan and they do it the wrong way, but you can use vegan 22 and uh, see if you guys want to try it out. Awesome. Anybody open to trying it out, possibly? Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. If you guys do it together, it'll be a lot easier too, because you'll have that mutual support.
So just some things to think about. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Be thankful for life. Try not to eat a turkey, okay?